bullfighting and water are the powerful main symbols racing through Ernest Hemingway's novel, The Sun Also Rises. Bullfighting dominates the second half of the novel and symbolizes the fraught relationships among Cone, Jake, Mike, Romero, and Brett. Throughout the novel, Brett antagonizes the men into fighting for her affection, symbolizing the way bullfighters flaunt the red flag to antagonize the bulls into a fight. If Brett is the metaphorical bullfighter, the men are bulls, with emasculated Jake acting as a steer, which is a castrated bull. See, in bullfighting, the steers herd the bulls together after the run. This is a lot like the way Jake, who cannot have sex with Brett, works to keep the group of friends together, perpetually at Brett's beck and call, making travel plans and inviting men who are competing for Brett's affection to join them. After the running of the bulls in Pamplona, Jake and his friends assess the bull's strength and aggressiveness, two traditionally masculine characteristics. This mirrors the way Jake assesses each of Brett's suitors to judge whether they are worthy of her affection. According to Jake, Cone is unworthy of Brett, and this fuels Jake's anger toward Cone. Jake deems the Count and Mike both passably masculine, maybe because they're both veterans. But the only man truly worthy of Brett is the bullfighter Romero, whom Jake actively helps Brett attract. In and out of the ring, Romero is the most masculine and he's handsome, full of youth and vitality, honorable and talented. But in the end, Romero is heartbroken. Just as the strongest and most aggressive bull can be killed by a skilled bullfighter in the end, Romero falls to Brett. Water in The Sun Also Rises symbolizes purification, physically and emotionally. Jake, bitter and hopeless after the war, spends his days searching for distraction in small pleasures. And the only time he feels truly at peace is in nature, specifically in or near water. He fishes in Borghete with Bill, and this mini vacation is the happiest in the novel. And it's the only time Jake sleeps peacefully. Jake and Bill spend their days in the sun and in the stream. He spends far more time describing the landscape than he does describing Brett. And after leaving the stress of Pamplona, Jake is eager to get back to the purifying water in San Sebastian. The water was buoyant and cold. It felt as though you could never sink. In the water, Jake is at peace. Nothing can weigh him down. But water means purification to Brett as well, represented by her frequent bathing. She often uses bathing as an excuse to escape social situations or to explain why she runs perpetually late. Her bathing sessions frequently follow romantic liaisons. For example, when she returns from San Sebastian, where she had an affair with Cone, she says she can't meet with Jake. Haven't bathed, Michael comes in tonight. Must clean myself. Brett's perpetual bathing signals a kind of remorse over her promiscuity. She feels compelled to wash away her guilty feelings. 